so I'm going to share my screen real quick just to remind everyone, and I hope you guys all did this yesterday, um, of your um, discussion board. So let me get to your class. Okay, so here, yesterday, we had the discussion board, and, um, and here's the uh, artist that we were looking at. So just make sure you finish this. This is going to get shut down tomorrow, um, and you won't be able to make it up. So just make sure you're doing that. So then for today, um, I just let me move a little bit, and I'm going to talk about um, I want you to, today and tomorrow, we're going to work on um, either getting started or um, getting your sketches or ideas done. Do you guys have ideas for this project? Still working on it? Does, you have no clue? Okay. <laughs> that, I, that's where I expect everyone to be. <laughs> so you're right. Do you need sketch paper? You do? Okay, I'll get you that in a second. Um, let me go get that. Okay, you guys, do you have ideas? You do? Do you need to get paper? Idea for your collage. So maybe look at some of the pictures. Okay. All right. So, um, so let me show you. Right. So here is, and you guys can like come and see this if you want. Got all messed up. It goes this way. So I'm working on my collage. Let me do this. All right. Better. So right now it looks like a mess. But let me tell you what I'm trying to do. So um, I talked a little bit about my idea, how I was going to try and portray a little bit about um, the past couple months in our world and um, how I um, got inspired by Amanda Gorman's poem. And um, let's see how things go. So, um, here, let me get this. So, the part of the poem that I was, that I'm trying to think about and kind of visualize is, um, it says, when day comes, we step out of the shade, a flame enough for unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light. If only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. So, if you can see how I've got these hands with flames, this is going to be kind of like the sunrise, the new day dawning. Over here is going to be a lot of darkness and black. Some things that I found along the way that I feel like are important about some of the things that has ha have happened over the past several months. Um, I've got some words that I'm going to, I'm going to put some words in here of the poem and I got some other words. Um, you know, never stop, stop backwards, never stop believing that what, believing that fighting for what's right is worth it, stuff like that. So, um, I've gone through magazines 
I did a quick sketch kind of with an idea on the back of this cardboard. And then I went through magazines, I pulled out colors that I might want, uh, textures, some darkness here. Um, I'm still kind of going through everything, trying to figure that out. And um, here's another word, chaos. Um, and I'm kind of developing this as I go along. Um, so I have this kind of idea and I'm just keep on finding stuff and putting it on here. I may, when I'm done with all this magazine stuff, go ahead and put kind of a patchwork border on it um, in the same way that Faith Ringgold did her work. So, um, I don't know if that helps anybody. I um, So the things that you wanna think about are things like maybe a favorite memory, like in Faith Ringgold when she did Tar Beach, that's a memory of her childhood, or um, maybe something that you hope in the future. Um, so like if you have a goal or, or something you wanna achieve, you can kind of portray that. Um, Things that are important to you, family, friends, um, family, friends, uh, animals. Um, someone's doing a collage, well, kind of like a painting collage on um, saving animals. Um, so it could be something that you might be politically in tune with, the environment, politics, uh, society um that kind of stuff it could be uh, your favorite place it could be simply your neighborhood um it could be a lot of different things the hard part is that it could be so much so narrowing it down to what you want is going to be the hardest part i think so um sketching things out it could um you can just sometimes sketching can get you some ideas um, if, if depending on what kind of materials you're using, like I'm using magazines, so my sketch had to be kind of loose enough that I could fit in, like really I just had an idea of what my background would look like. Um, and then the colors that I wanted within it to portray what I want. So, um, and then paging through magazines that helped to kind of solidify certain things. And that, that's kind of by chance, you know, like I don't have access to a lot of stuff and just by chance I find things that are meaningful to me. So um, that's what you guys can do as well. Um, if you're, you can also take a piece of paper and paint your image and then um, maybe quilt around it like we, like we did um, or like I will, like uh, Faith Ringgold does. Um, you can uh, you know, use a variety of materials. At first I thought I was gonna use fabric, but I, I decided to go for a little more magazine collage. So that being said, uh, anybody have any questions? No, you guys have questions? No? Does that help a little bit, like thinking about things? Okay, and um, I'm gonna get these guys started here. So I'll be back. Uh, but if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And um, if materials are an issue, please let me know so I can get things to you, okay? I'm gonna stop this recording. Oops.